just take And this is your me. first dose? Yeah. These are extraordinary times that call for an extraordinary response. And that means leaving the confines of our buildings. While we pride ourselves in state-of-the-art facilities at Spectrum Health, this moment calls for something more. You're going to come right this way. Our team is taking vaccination clinics on the road. Are you nervous? Oh. And into the communities Ready? where they're needed the most. What convinced you that this was the right thing to do today? I don't, I don't want the drugs, period. <laughs> That's what convinced me, you know, to get, come and get it. You, know, you get this age, you do everything you can to keep living. Okay. Your Already, we've administered hundreds of vaccines targeting the underserved. Is that it? Is that all to it? Communities where people of color have been severely impacted by COVID-19. Two clinics already, one at New Hope Baptist Church in Grand Rapids on the southeast side, and another at the Wyoming Senior Center. We need to meet the patient where they are. We're ready and we're willing to invest in the community. Some are taking the vaccine in spite of fears and distrust in a U.S. medical system that has historically failed people of color. I said it myself <laughs> at first. I said, I'm not going to take that. They're just really going to get rid of us now. <laughs> So I, I was very hesitant about it, but I can't say have no fear because I had fear at first. But as this progresses, the stuff progresses on and on and so many people is dying, we need to do something. And this is just the beginning. In addition to continuing the community clinics, Spectrum Health is partnering with the Kent County Health Department, Mercy Health, and Vaccinate West Michigan to launch the West Michigan Vaccine Clinic at the DeVos Place in downtown Grand Rapids. Appointment-only vaccinations starting this week. Each patient has their own reason for getting vaccinated. We're both comfortable with um, whenever God wants us to you know, <laughs> whatever, uh, we're okay with that, but we don't particularly want to hurry it along either. I look at it this way. I don't have that many more years. I have to be able to enjoy what's left. We're over 400, 400,000 people have died yeah. from this thing. You know, who could imagine something like that? Our hope is that this effort sends a message to all communities in West Michigan, a message that outlasts the COVID-19 pandemic. As the signs start popping up at these senior living centers, at these churches, at the schools, you know, anywhere we can really position ourselves well, I hope that sends a message that we hear for them.